and say I do I wanna go down this road with you All the highs and lows with you Keep walking in your Hello guys Welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and uh, select all. So I don't have any banger and new exclusivity will definitely be notified. <clears throat> Let's get straight to it right here with our station. So. Deontay Browns Bomba Wilder, the former WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the hardest puncher in the history of boxing. Um, is set to fight John Lee June first, and in their press conference, Wilder, I think, is inspired by Anthony Joshua bro. Wilder is seen saw that Joshua was down bad at the point of basically no return because Joshua was down bad, especially after the loss to Oles and the Usyk, the second loss. It really hurt Joshua bad. Joshua um got very erratic. Um lost it in the ring but Joshua had to rebuild himself he went for uh, he, 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 he went to rebuild uh, rebuild himself he's confident you know Joshua has always had that monster in him so he needed to get it back the on the other hand is also at a similar position Wilder right now um doesn't really have that dread anymore i think he caught it water is back to the old his old self and this speech of Wilder at the press conference really really made make made, made me believe that this guy right here we are looking at someone different well, I feel for Janjali right now. Janjali might be 276 pounds and stuff like that on fight night. But I just believe there's something Wilder plans to do to Janjali that had never been done before to him. Janjali will land on Wilder. Wilder will also land on Janjali. Let's hear from Wilder in regards to the sport of boxing. Would I still love with him or not? Let's hear from him, guys. You will see what I'm. This is not an easy task that we do. Boxing is is it's straight strictly a business. It's not a sport for me. I always say the business of boxing, and that's what it is. Accordingly, we risk our lives for you guys' entertainment, and here I am again. <laughs> I'm not playing around this time. I have nothing to lose. I feel like I've lost. A lot of things in my life, even some of the closest people in my life. So I don't feel like I have nothing else to lose, but only to gain. And this fight, we're going to tell, we're going to see. It's enough of the talk. And I even told my team, I don't want to hear how good I look, how I am, this and this. I'm not going to even be posting too much this time around. Because I mean business. I can feel the desire and the sensation in my heart again. That hunger, that monster, that beast is coming back. The pain that I've endured over these last years, it's going to be, it's, 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 it's. They say words are powerful. After listening to that, you have to give water credit, bro. You know, water, a lot of people advise him to, to like to retire and stuff like that. The last fight against Joseph Parker was a, Big lackluster. I swear, it was a big lackluster fight because Water didn't do anything, bro. He didn't do anything. No jab thrown, no right hands thrown, no combinations, no uppercut, nothing. Water was just moving and and scared of being hit by Joseph Parker. Well, it has to do with mentality. Like he said, he lost 
a love for the sport of boxing. He lost that zeal. He, that monster in him, he lost it. Bram squatters back and he said, listen, that monster is back. The only difference between Wada and Joshua right now is, is that Joshua at least got a new trainer. Um, I don't think Wada has one yet. Like, let's see with Mali Scott. I have to say though, Mali Scott is not the right match for Wada. He might be a very good friend of Wada. He might be like, um, yeah, like, it might be good for water like giving water friendship advice and stuff like that being there for water as a brother but as a trainer i don't know man i don't know i have my doubts about Mali scott since water um took him under his wing like well they've they've only had he's only won one fight with water that was the Elinio's fight. So, it's not looking good right now, man. But I'm glad to see Deontay Water being inspired by <clears throat> uh, Anthony Joshua. I think Joshua inspired Water, bro. Let's keep it real. He might not say it because Water has, has a lot of pride. The guy is very, he, his, his pride is like out of the roof, bro but i think he got inspiration from the resurgence of anthony joshua this fight right here funny enough uh john delay didn't say trash he didn't say trash about water or saying it like i was saying like the way he talked about uh, uh when he said he was gonna knock uh joseph parker out and stuff like that he didn't say he didn't say anything about water but he, he does know that he i think he knows that there is, uh, like, he knows that this guy right here in front of me can knock me out. I can also knock him out. This is what makes this, is what makes this fight very intriguing. And I, I feel like they are building this fight, you know, uh, uh, for the, they are building this fight in a way that, you know, um, yeah like they're yeah, beating it for a purpose this fight the winner of this fight if water wins could easily fight joshua next that's a big fight imagine water knocks jangeli hard cold renders him unconscious imagine what will happen bro imagine the high being back water we need water back we need the whole water back because it is very necessary for boxing it is very Water is an essential part part of boxing. He's an essential part of boxing. He's an, he's an exciting fighter. He's a, he's a guy that talks a lot of trash. A lot of I didn't used to like 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 his trash talk then, but right now I miss it. I miss it. Joshua is the Mister Nice guy. Fury is a trash talker, but you know bipolar. Water is that brute guy that would say a uh, bomb squad and come to knock you the fuck out. I'm just not confident in his trainer, Marley Scott, getting the job done with Water. I think Water need to do anything to Joshua. Basically, get yourself a new, or, or, a new trainer, like Ben Davison, for example. Like someone like that. Not Ben Davison, because Ben Davison would be able to train Water and Joshua at the same time, because they they're going to collide. But I mean, someone like that. Because. Water doesn't need a lot change in his game. He just needs to get a confidence back and tune up his his, uh, his defense. You know. But I think Water has been he's like people are they are changing him to be a bo you can that's why about Jagba, people were saying, yeah, Jagba this Ajagba improved, no doubt. Ajagba had some tools to his uh, to to the to his uh, to his game. Has a new tools to his game, no doubt about it. But I still see a Jagba throwing punches and staying there and standing there instead of like moving out. But that takes time, you know. You cannot change a fight overnight. But the tools I saw a Jagba display, bro, <clears throat> I was very impressed. Keiko Roma did a great job. But a Jagba, that defense still need to be tightened up because if you fight a top fifteen 
let's say top 10 heavyweight it will be it will capitalize the level will capitalize on that and it will be like over basically so Wilder I can wait Wilder Jungley is back I really want him to win I really want Wilder to win love you let you guys subscribe to the channel god bless you all always support the channel i really appreciate you you all and um will not do well will not wear down stay blessed bye catch you on the next one Cheers.